Three government employees have been charged in connection with the Flint water crisis. The county prosecutor has announced the charges against Mike Glasgow, a former laboratory and water quality supervisor who now serves as the city's utilities administrator, and Michigan Department of Environmental Quality District Water Supervisor Stephen Bush and District Water Engineer Mike Prisby. They are charged with various crimes associated with tampering with evidence, willful neglect of duty, misconduct in office, and violating the Safe Water Drinking Act. Two years ago, in a move to save money, they switched Flint's water supply from Lake Huron to the Flint River, notorious for its filth. The Michigan Department of Environmental Quality also failed to treat the corrosive water, which ate into the city's iron and lead pipes, causing lead to leach into the drinking water. Also detected in the water were high levels of E. coli, carcinogens, and other toxins. More than 50 lawsuits have been filed since January. Though Flint's water supply is definitely on its path to recovery, concerns about lead and other issues hinder the cleanup of the system's corroded pipes. Lead contamination levels continue to surpass acceptable federal standards, and residents continue to use bottled or filtered water for cooking or drinking. The hub is being painted purple Sunday afternoon. We caught up with, with Marion Maxfield. The first ever at the hub, a Relay for Life event is called Paint the Hub Purple. And we are not going to physically paint the hub purple as some people have been thinking. It's the kickoff for Paint the Town Purple, which goes on until Relay, which is May 14th. So we're gonna have a big event out here this coming Sunday, the 24th, Paint the Hub Purple. And it's gonna be out here on this beautiful patio outside. The weather's gonna be just like this, gorgeous. We're gonna have bands all out afternoon led off by Mike Hickey and it runs from 1 o'clock to 5 o'clock and they have awesome food out here. They're going to have specials on hot dogs and hamburgers and of course purple drinks and if you're brave enough you can have a purple bunny. Which a purple is, bunny? Oh it's pretty yummy. <laughs> it's very yummy and uh, oh it's going to be so much fun and this is a Relay for Life fundraising event. There's also a band that is going to be having their debut performance here. Yes, Princess Wawa is making their debut appearance Sunday here at the Hub. And they're also playing next month here at the Hub. And I don't want to tell you too much about them, let you be surprised. The name is Princess Wawa, and they're so excited to be here for this relay event. They're, they're just over the moon about it. The music starts at what time again? It's going to start at 1 o'clock with Mike Hickey. He's going to lead it off. And we're going to have different people come in and jam. Um, I've got phone calls into different people, different musicians. All the musicians are welcome. I know for sure we're going to have Greg Smith and uh, Gary Fox. I've got a call into Dean West and Bob White. And if you want to come out and play, come out and play. If you want to come out and sing, come out and sing. And the newly crowned Miss Senior Nye County, Carol Burton, will be here leading the line dancing. She's a Beautiful girl, beautiful line dancer. So we'll be line dancing, dancing, drinking, eating. We'll have a table here for registration. You can register for Relay, which is free. And and uh, survivors, you need to come and register. You need to register every year, get your purple t-shirt. So uh, please come out, register, buy a Luminaria bag. Just have fun with Relay. Relay is May 14th, 6 o'clock at night at Petrack Park. And uh, if you want further information, you can call the Hub here at the Hub, 775-910-9575. If you want to call me about the event on Sunday, call me at 775-722-1898. And if you want more information about Paint the Town Purple and Relay, our event chair this year is Kayla Jeannie. Her phone number is 775-688-9096. Thanks, Marion. An important meeting regarding prostate cancer is happening at the Prompt Nugget tomorrow for men, women, and caregivers. Here's Jim Gregory with more. I'd like to talk about a new uh, blood test that's been developed by uh, a company called uh, Opco Pharmaceuticals. Uh, this is a blood test that gives you the, uh, it's a scale of 1 to 100. It goes into a database which has uh, been compiled over the past 30 years working in cohort with the uh, Sloan Ketterling Hospital back east somewhere. I don't know where it's at. But it's a famous hospital. Uh, what they did, they took over 20,000 guys who were scheduled for a biopsy 
and they got to these guys just before they went for their biopsy and they did a blood test and then after the uh, biopsy test came back they compared their blood test to the uh, biopsy reports and very very similar uh, results <clears throat> so they're touting this as a replacement for the biopsy which would be a great thing for men in the future because the biopsies number one they hurt you can get infected from them they are not that accurate it's a kind of a shotgun approach uh, and this new blood test it uh, it takes all those guys they have the database on and puts it into their database, their algorithm, and it kicks out a number from one to 100, and the higher the number, the more aggressive your cancer should be over the next 10 to 20 years. That's long-term there. So this sounds like a new step in the detection and treatment of prostate cancer, and it will save, if, if it turns out to be what they claim, it will save a lot of men from uh, being butchered. We have a uh, presentation set up this Saturday, which is four days from now, the 23rd of this month, at 2 p.m. at the Nugget Conference Room. Their conference room is back next to the bowling alley. So, If someone wants more information, is there a phone number they can call? Uh, yeah, my phone number is 727-7482. And my friends call me Jim, 727-7482. We'll be right back with your weather and weekend announcements.